Hello, my name is Amy Denny and I'm here to work on some lessons using the new GED calculator or the TI-30XS. Today we're going to be working on the order of operations and percentages. So let's look at a problem using the order of operations. If we were working this manually, then we would have to remember to um, use parentheses and then exponents, multiply, divide, and then add and subtract. However, when we're using the calculator, the benefit of that is the calculator remembers all of it. So let's start with a problem. 17 plus 6 times 8 divided by 2 squared. Okay. Now, of course, if we were working this by hand, we would have to we would have to do the exponents first, and then we would have to multiply and divide. But we're just going to enter this in the calculator, like we see it here on paper. Okay. So I'm going to move to the calculator, and I'm going to do 17 plus 6 times 8 divided by 2. And then to get the squared, notice here the x squared button. So I'm going to hit that, and that tells me that it's squared because of the exponent up there. Now I'm going to hit Enter. My answer is 29, and that's correct. So that seems simple enough. Let's try another one. Okay, this time we're going to use parentheses. x times negative 4 plus negative 7 times 2. Order of operations tells me that I'm going to have to do what's in the parentheses first. However, when I'm entering this on the calculator, I'm just going to enter the parentheses as I see them here on the paper. So moving over to the calculator, there are parentheses buttons right here and right here. So above the 8 and the 9 you have your open parenthesis and then above the 9 you have your closed parenthesis. So I'm going to start by clearing out my calculator and then I'm going to open my parenthesis 8 times and remember from the last lesson we need to come down here and do the negative number negative 4. Don't forget to close your parenthesis. There I've closed it. Now I can say plus negative 7 times 2. And then enter. And my answer, negative 46, which is correct. The calculator takes into account the parentheses. It takes into account the rules for multiplying and dividing, adding, subtracting, positive and negative numbers. And that's how we get our answer. So um, that is wonderful. Thank you.